Yes. Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Alina Small Ears. Small E-A. Small E-R. Smells funny. <laughs> Smells great, actually. <laughs> and foremost, people are going to be like, aren't you supposed to be social distancing? What happened? We have all been taking extreme precautions. Alina is just as paranoid as me. She's just, as, just as neurotic <laughs> as me. She showed up with gloves and a legit, like, surgical mask. With a lot of sanitizer. We have not touched skin at all. Not that that matters. It's all, it's all <laughs> droplets. But anyway, my first relationship, stand-up comedy by Ashwarya Mohan Raj. You do smell good. Your, sm mm. your last name should be Smells Great. So, Ashwarya Mohan Raj. My last name doesn't mean that I smell good, but I do, yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so, uh, thank you, Michael Reddy, for making the subtitles. Very, very much appreciated. Here we go. I'm the Neil, I'm the man, rock star, superstar, Nikki Bakshi, sweet and sexy. <laughs> How do you say sexy at all? I don't know that song. Yet. Maybe it's an Indian song. No idea. My name is Ashwara. I did this show called Comicstan. For the people who don't know what Comicstan is, it's, it's basically a reality show. Okay, uh, it's like Indian Idol. <laughs> With the only difference being that Indian Idol is way funnier. <laughs> okay. I won't lie, the show has done well for me. Yeah, uh, I get to travel a lot. I went to Gurkhaal the other day. <laughs> I reached the hotel, okay, and this receptionist, she was like, oh, madam, this is a single occupancy room. No boys allowed. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to go to the bomb, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and without missing a beat, she says, also, after 8 o'clock, no girls also allowed. <laughs> that after 8 o'clock, my lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> what a receptionist, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I went, I went for my show and uh, for my performance, this girl comes up to me. You know, full, excited, bubbly. She was like, oh my god, I'm such a big fan. Prashanti. <laughs> Oh god, that sucks. You heard what happened with Kevin Hart the other day? Yeah. <laughs> My name is Ashwaja. <laughs> she was just staring at me. Joke Sonana Sali. That's too chunky. This is rude. <laughs> she didn't see it. I felt bad. I won't lie. I felt bad. But then I said, eight minute. Mira to naam bhul gay. <laughs> I suppose that's something to feel good about. Yeah, uh, then I didn't feel bad. <laughs> then I was just like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what do I say? Prashasti is rude. <laughs> I was just bending the camera. <laughs> No, he just starts <laughs> chugging water. <laughs> he starts chugging. <laughs> Is she it? Yeah, first proper relationship. <laughs> proper relationship. <laughs> proper, improper, now and all, we're too late. You remember how first relationship felt, right? Like how... Waiting for them to text. Just constantly wet vagina. Waiting for the text. Man, I'm old. Waiting for the text. Just constantly wet vagina. Class. I don't know what that is. <laughs> the highlight of your year is 
छह महीने में वो चैप्टर आने वाला है ओह या I don't know what you had in school, but like we like learned about sex so ed. Everyone's like, oh my god! We started to learn about later a bit. Madam, if this graph will become, 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 if this That's wrong. That's deep. That's wow. wrong. That's like, wrong. Yeah, I, I would, I would never say fuck. I would call it the <laughs> f word. You know, if someone said fuck around me, I'd just be like, how? Oh. <laughs> Now someone says fuck, I'm just like how? Oh. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> बट बचपन से ना लव तो मुझे ऐसे हो जाता था साल साल क्रश एंड व्हाट अ क्रश आई हैड उफ हां ही वाज द टॉपर ऑफ द क्लास फुल रॉयल्ड अप हेयर चश्मा लगा के प्रॉपर चोमो लुक इट हिज नेम वाज आयुष बट ही लुक लाइक अ वाइल्ड ब्रिटिश लॉन्ग स्टोरी शॉर्ट Ayush and I are discussing the history project over a call. Yeah. And they were like, uh, British, huh? Oh, in Jadaro, Harappa. Project is about Vietnam. <laughs> Half an hour into the conversation, Ayush is like, uh, listen, whom do you like? And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like anyone. <laughs> Are you ready? Tell no. First you tell. <laughs> no, no, you tell. First you tell. No, no, you tell. But first this went on for half an hour. <laughs> half an hour into this. Aish was like, uh, listen, I'll ask you if you like someone, and you are supposed to say yes or no, and vice versa. So he started. He would. Do you like Gautam? I was like, no. <laughs> and I asked him, dude, do you like Vaishnavi? And he was like, dude, she, she's my cousin. <laughs> so you don't like her. <laughs> Cause she's damn hot. <laughs> so he's like, one minute. Do do you like her? <laughs> Only after eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so Ayush realized, ये तो गधी है. So he's like, <clears throat> Ashwara, let's let's just do one thing. ठीक है? If you like me and I like you, at the count of three. <laughs> We'll cut the call. <laughs> so we started one, two, three, and I cut the call. And then I was like, "Oh, I hope he cut the call." Because <laughs> now I have no idea, no? <laughs> Who cut the call? He cut the call. I cut the call. MTNL cut the call. <laughs> I'm just staring at the phone. Ki, oh my God! मेरा पहला पहला धुरा रह गया रे सदी। and at that point the phone started ringing and I immediately picked it up and it was Ayush and he was like dude did you cut the call and I was like did you cut the call Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. She explored a lot of things in that one. The main point of this particular video was that her first relationship ever, which she defines happened at 13 years old. Gosh, like 13, what an age. 
13. Yeah. What, when was your first relationship? I mean, it depends what you call relationship. That's the thing that's tricky. Like, I've been going back and forth with my audience lately about love. I even have a podcast that's dedicated to it called Love Zindagi. Love Zindagi is the name of the podcast. We talk about relationships and a whole bunch of shit. But for me, I've had romantic exploration since the age of, God, since I was like in fifth grade. You know, okay. since like 10 years old, but like nothing happened. No, it's, it's just the different phases. I don't know how yeah. to explain it. So like at 13, you don't have that mature, kind of a mature love, which you have like at 18. So yeah. Or, yeah, or 30. <laughs> or, or, <laughs> for everyone yeah. a different age. Yeah. Yeah. The thing that she talked about, uh, about being on the phone, that I found extremely relatable. Yes, because you don't, absolutely. You know, you just don't know what you're working with. You don't understand like sexual dynamics. You don't understand relationship. You don't even understand the opposite sex. You just know that you are attracted. It's a very primal thing. And you're just trying to figure your way out. And no one has educated you on any of this shit because your parents are too afraid to tell you anything. And so I remember, and I've said this before, I remember at one point, like when my parents found out that I was dating, Bonk. I'm not afraid to say her name because nothing bad happened. I'm not saying anything disparaging of her. When I was, I might bleep the name out anyway, but anyhow, <laughs> when I was, you know, in a relationship with her, my parents found out and my dad was expressing legitimate fears. And I'm like, you're afraid we're gonna have sex. He's like, no, what are you kidding me? I'm afraid you guys are gonna kiss. I'm like, what are you afraid of that for? <laughs> so I was like very confusing, like the kind of like things that my dad was concerned about. But it's that level of innocence where you just, you don't know how to do anything. You none of you, well, I didn't. I didn't understand much of anything at the age of 12, 13. But I do remember what she was talking about of like, being in school in seventh grade and like learning about sexual reproductive organs for the first time and seeing pictures and whatnot. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like seeing I don't know. When I was a kid, I used to just sleep over my uh, relative's house and watch like Showtime and whatnot late at night because I didn't have porn at home. So <laughs> I would just watch stuff all, like uh, late at night. It was like it was super awkward because like I'd be watching it like two in the morning. Like why is this kid up at two in the morning? And then he'd open the door and switch to Cartoon Network real fast. Like I was, I had my finger on the. <laughs> Dial quick with it. I think I remember I've been doing the same thing with, with my friends. Okay. Literally, literally, we were like. Yeah, exactly. Like nothing's, everything's innocuous. <laughs> All innocence very, here. Yes, yes. You know, but you're just like you're just curious because no one is telling you anything, and that's the problem. Is that there's more sensationalized. It's more like heightened for you because no one has bothered to tell you about it. I think it's a little bit different these days because oh, yeah. as, as, oh, yeah. as from what I see, <laughs> like teenagers are more exposed exposed about what's going on in general. Like actually like at the age of five, I already knew what is sex. It just happened. Like no one told me. It just, I mean, I was like, you know, in the same age people, maybe someone was sure. older and Someone was like, I know what sex is. Mm. Like, what? 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 I remember what those kind of phone calls. Like, you're doing it first. Now you do it. Now you do it. Yeah. Now you do it. Bye. Exactly. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> but it's so sweet at the same time. The thing that she was talking about earlier in the video about going to the hotel mm -hmm. and like the lady being very kind of strict in terms of. Oh, you can't have boys over. Oh, you can't have girls over after eight o'clock. That was a good joke, by the way. Like she, after eight o'clock, she's a lesbian. That was really funny. Yeah, it, it is funny. Um, that kind of thing is legit in India, where they will judge you. Because Achar and I got judged when we were in Mumbai at the last hotel we stayed at because they saw we weren't married. They like treated us weird. To be fair, like all the other hotels that we that we stayed at, they were nice to us. They were fine. It was just the last one for some reason. Like they were very judgmental and very weird and very strict about everything. And they made us pay for the whole thing in advance, which I've never experienced before. Like normally I get charged afterwards. Okay. It was the first hotel where I got treated that way. So what she's talking about is like, it's even worse with Indians where if an Indian comes to stay at that hotel, they're going to be even more like that than they were with me and Achara. It's probably the old <clears throat> education of yeah the old culture yeah they shouldn't be doing that I'm glad that she's calling it out and making fun mm -hmm. of it because they just yeah. that they shouldn't that be funny. doing that it was a very funny it's joke. like a running joke and even from what I understand landlords can be like that where they'll sort of like judge you and say something and it's it's ridiculous really yeah oh yes I had I well actually I didn't have a land, landlord like that I had a neighbor in Russia she was like a weird, Russia. very weird grandma who was like always trying to figure out what I'm doing and what's going on in there and who, who's coming. I'm like, hi. She's like, how are you today? Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I'm fine, thank you. Who was that guy? I'm like, he actually a friend of mine. Okay. She was really creepy. Yeah. Really creepy. She was knocking at the door at the very late time or early morning and just saying, Hi, how are you doing? I'm like, what do you want from me? You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. And um, 
<laughs> Y'all have been awesome. And thank you, <laughs> thank you, Ashwarya Mohan Raj for taking us back through time and making us reflect on the, those fascinating you feel memories. Well, I was about to fly us again. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you've been awesome. Y'all have been awesome. Uh, make sure to follow Alina yes. on the social media Thank and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon. Yes, All please. notifications. Uh, check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Alina Smollier. Peace out. Bye.